kids. I'm so happy to see you all today. We are learning all about how God is faithful. Being faithful is kind of like making a promise and keeping it no matter what. God is faithful to us, which means that no matter what, he will always love us and care for us. Let's all stand up and get ready to sing together. God made me, he made everything. God loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere and he loves me. me he can do anything if i run over here if i run over there god is everywhere and he loves me when i look up 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 i know he's real when i look down 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 i believe what i found when i look in god's word and i search for him he rewards me cause he He's real when I look down, down, down I believe what I found When I look in God's word And I search for Him He rewards me Cause He loves me Cause He loves me Cause He loves me Did you know there are lots of different things and people that help us? Let's think of some different things to help keep us safe and protect us. Hmm, okay. What is something you wear when you're riding your bike and it helps protect your head? Good job, a helmet! Okay, what about if you fall down and scrape your knee? What is something you could put on to help when it's hurt? Yeah, a band-aid. Okay, now let's think of some different people that help us. Okay, who is someone that helps put out a fire? Great job, a firefighter. And who is someone that can help you if you're really sick? Yes, a doctor. These things and people are really important to help us when we need help and they help keep us safe. In our story today, we're gonna hear about a little baby and how God sent help to the baby and his family when they needed it. Say this after me. I open my Bible and what do I see? God's big story waiting for me. Welcome to the Wondering Broadcasting Network News. I'm your host, Allison. It's been a long time since the Israelites had good news, but we at Wondering have a breaking story that's very exciting. Grant, before we break this news story, can you recap what has been happening? You bet, Allison. Our viewers will probably remember the names of the people God made his unbreakable promises to. Abraham and his son Isaac. Isaac had a son named Jacob, and Jacob grew up and had 12 sons. One of those sons was named Joseph. Joseph and his family all lived in Egypt and became known as the Israelites, or the Hebrews. At first, Jacob's family was happy in Egypt. They were able to care for their animal flocks and have more and more children. After many years passed, Egypt had a new pharaoh who was afraid of the Israelites because there were so many of them. Pharaoh feared that the Israelites would take over Egypt. So he made them work for the Egyptians and they were treated very badly and were forced to do hard, hard work but then things got worse than anyone could have imagined. Pharaoh ordered that every Hebrew baby boy must be killed. However, there was one Hebrew mother who gave birth to a baby boy. Despite the danger, the mother hid him for the first three months of his life. But this was harder to do as the baby grew older. The mother decided to make a basket that would both float in water 
and hold the baby. She set the basket and the baby in the Nile River. We just heard that Riley has found the baby's older sister, who apparently saw what happened next. Let's go to Riley and get the scoop. Riley, can you hear us? Yes, I can, Allison. You're right here with Riley. And yes, we have found the baby's older sister. Please tell us more about what happened after your mom put the baby into the river. I wanted to see what would happen. Really, I wanted to see what God would do with my baby brother. So I watched from a safe distance. His basket floated down the river and eventually floated right toward the place where Pharaoh's own daughter had come to take a bath. She opened the basket and looked right at him. Pharaoh's daughter had your little brother in her reach? Oh no! Instead of being upset, she looked at him sweetly. She felt sorry for him, and she started asking if anyone could help feed him. Wow, so it was actually a good thing that Pharaoh's daughter found him. Exactly, that's when I did something brave. They were looking for someone to take care of my baby brother, so I came over to them and said that I knew someone who could help. Did she let you get someone? Yes, so I ran home and got my mom. You mean the baby's own mother was the one who got to take care of him and no one else even knew it? Yes, not only was my baby brother protected by her orders, but she also paid my mom to take care of him. A truly incredible story. Allison, back to you. Uh, how amazing. You heard it here. Pharaoh's daughter saves Hebrew baby boy and pays the mother to take care of him. I have a report here. Pharaoh's daughter named him Moses, which means pulled out. She named him that because she pulled him out of the river water. Moses' mother took care of him until he was old enough to live in the Pharaoh's palace. Years later, the Hebrew people would cry out to God for help, and God would call Moses to lead them out of slavery in Egypt. Yes, Grant. God cares about his people and rescued Moses as a baby because God knew who Moses would grow up to become. The WIBN team is happy to share with you the truth that just when they need it most, God sends help to his people. That's all for today's segment of WIBN, but remember, stay curious and filled with wonder. a great story. I bet Moses' mommy was really sad and scared when she put her little baby in a basket and sent him down the river. But I am so glad that God sends help to his people and he sent help to baby Moses. Moses was rescued by Pharaoh's daughter and he got to be back with his mommy again. And then as Moses grew up, God used him to help other people. Just like God helped baby Moses and his family, God promises to send us help when we need it. He cares about us and loves us. When we are scared or worried or aren't sure what to do, we can talk to God and ask him for help because he is faithful and sends help to his people. Let's all stand up to say some really special words and then sing. Thank you, God, that you made me. Thank you, God, that you made me. And I am your kid. And I am your kid. Jesus loves me so much. Jesus loves me so much. His love for me is big. His love for me is big. The Holy Spirit leads me. The Holy Spirit leads me. And I can follow you and I can follow you. My life can tell your story. My life can tell your story. I'm a wonder, this is true. I'm a wonder, this is true.
time with you today. I want you to remember that God sends help to his people. Let's pray and ask God to help us this week. Ready? Clap, clap, clap. Put your hands in your lap. Close your eyes and let's pray. God, thank you for always being with us. Thank you for loving us and caring for us. Help us to remember to ask you when we need help. Help us to remember that you send help to your people. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. See you next time.